radio talk shows, which is true, and uh, the last time I was here for a demonstration was in 1988, when the state legislature here, and I was on the radio at KFYI, any KFYI listeners? Are? That's back in the day, Bob, Mo Bob Mohan and John Giese, and you remember those guys? Bob, Bob, Barry Young is still here, right? My man Barry? Well, the big outrage then was they were trying to cram a mandatory seatbelt law down our throats. <laughs> And about 25 of us showed up one day, and we killed that bill. Well, I'm glad to see there's a lot more 25 than 25 here, because we got an even bigger battle on our hands. They took that seatbelt, and they wrapped it around our throats, and they're hanging us with it. And then they're going to make us pay them for the medical care afterwards. But before we get started, I want to bring up my colleague, our grassroots coordinator and the co-founder of the Tea Party Patriots, Amy Kramer, joining us from Atlanta, Georgia. It's a gorgeous day to take back our country. It absolutely is. You know, yesterday we just came over here from Searchlight in Nevada. Where we only had, what, 700 people or yeah, something? Yeah, 50, 60 people showed up. Folks, you wouldn't believe the people that showed up on the surface of the moon. She was there. They were, you guys were there. Okay. The high, the, we've seen estimates anywhere from 8,000, which we know is way, way low, to as high as 35,000 retirement party for Harry Reid. And you know, Senator Reid said yesterday that, oh, all these people parachuted in from out of state and that they're not going to be the ones to vote come November. And I'm wondering, did he just not see what happened in Massachusetts with Scott Brown and what we did to elect him? I would say he's just a wee bit insulated. You know, you, you've heard the stories about the racial epithets in the violence. You know, you're all a bunch of violent racists, right? You know that? Okay, get a load of this. I'm going to tell the story as quickly as I can because I don't want to get in the way of the program here. But yesterday, pulling into Searchlight, a, a, a group of union guys uh, arranged on the side of the road to support Harry Reid. He all launched a facade of eggs at the buses, which is, that's not very violent. But Andrew Breitbart, the blogger, was with them talking to them at the time. The, the guys who threw the eggs pointed the cops toward Andrew. And when the cops came to Andrew, Andrew pointed to the, to the TV camera that taped the whole thing and said, it wasn't me, it was that guy over there. The police left. It was important enough to go after Andrew Breitbart. But then the next day, today we pick up the newspapers in, in, in Vegas, right? Now, I... I this is just unbelievable. Can you imagine if, it, if this had been reversed? Sarah Palin is catching all the whole holy heck for saying reload. Harry Reid spent yesterday answering our rally at the opening of a new gun park, and he's on the front page of the paper doing this. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what they would do to Sarah? Harry's in trouble. He's in deep trouble. He doesn't know yeah, he it. Yet, he doesn't know it. He doesn't know it. He, he, you know, we are, of course, 
Woodstock <laughs> with clothes and no, no acid. That's a conservative Woodstock we're all going to remember. And, you know, the funny part about this is this does mirror the real Woodstock in one really important way. The, the people who are entrenched in Washington today understand what's going on out here about as much as Lyndon Johnson understood the Grateful Dead. <laughs> they don't get it. Come 2010 November, this November, they are fired! We hired them, we can fire them. They work for us. November 2nd, we are going to vote those bums out. Thanks so much for coming out here today. We have a great program for you with some entertainment, some great speakers. Yeah, because an angry mob cannot be an angry mob without a celebration of freedom and liberty. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, and that's what, and folks, make no mistake, that's what this fight is about. If anybody thought this was some kind of ruse or some kind of farce or a lark, last Sunday should have taught you a lesson you never forget. This is a serious battle for America's soul, and America is the guardian of human rights worldwide, the only country ever founded on the notion that that's the whole reason why government should exist. And if I might borrow a phrase from my friend Barry Young and just kind of plagiarize and twist it a bit, they can have my constitution when they pry it from my cold, dead fingers. Amen. That's all we need is our constitution. You know, it's really important, our seniors, they're really an important group across this country, and I'm sure many of you have heard of the AARP, right? Yes. Well, there's a great alternative to the AARP, and it's 60 plus, and it's led by a gentleman who is a dear friend. Walk into the town with a tea party express And we are getting down, getting down with the issues Shouting them out loud, we the people, we are speaking Hey, can you hear us now? Well, look out Washington, D.C., cause we are on a roll And we're rocking across the country with a message to be told the people, they are standing up all across this land. And they're sending you a message that we hope you understand. We're the Tea Party Express. We're walking through your town with the Tea Party Express. And we are getting down, getting down with the issues. Shouting them out loud, we the people, we are speaking. They can you hear us now. No cap and trade, my friends. Go tell I have to stop. Let's see if it must end. Go universal health care. Cap and trade, my friends. Go tell I have to stop. Let's see if it must end. No universal health care. No cap and trade, my friends. Go tell I have to stop. Let's see if it must end.